Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video on what happens when Agent 47 stops assassinating people and has to go and live in the real world. If you enjoy this video, please take a selfie with a local pelican and upload it to social media with the hashtag Pelican Master Race as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So don't worry, more actual Hitman missions coming soon, but anyway, meet Agent 47 if he lost his job and we're about to try to make a new life for him in GTA online. A world where squeakers form satanic-like cults and continuously bomb you in fighter jets and where middle-aged men proudly sleep with virtual hookers. Welcome to Los Santos. So we spawn in and you might notice we're missing Agent 47's signature red tie. It's time to do whatever it takes to find a tie shop and buy one. Agent 47 without his tie is like a flat-chested pole dancer. It's just plain wrong. I will stop at nothing to get his tie back. I proceed to jack this woman's SUV. Sorry, Mama Zito, but the kids will have to walk home from soccer practice today. I head towards the shopping district to buy my tie. As I approach the shop, I manage to do a textbook reverse parallel park. I head into the shop, Nothing can stop me now on this quest of epic proportions. I look at what ties they have for sale and quickly purchase myself a red skinny tie. Okay, um, I guess mission complete. That was actually very straightforward and we now have completed Agent 47's signature suit. All of a sudden though, my friend Crosby7885 has joined the game. What a sly dog. He's dressed like the kind of guy who lost a lot of money investing in Bitcoin and is now trying to crowdfund a tech startup company that plans to put TV screens on fleshlights or something. Anyway, I head outside and it's already utter mayhem. Someone's trashed my SUV. Well, the SUV I stole from that poor helpless woman, but still, it's a dog move. I jump in an empty bench and drive down the street a bit. My friend Crosby and this other guy Speed Racer follow me. The Speed Racer points at me and so naturally I gun him down with my pistol. I'm sorry mate, that was a bit out of nowhere, but you shouldn't point at people as it's rude in some cultures. Not really in my culture, but let that be a lesson for you. Anyway, I'm trying to start a new life for myself and I'm already gunning people down, Jesus. I decide to head down to the beach to clear my head. The salty sea air is is just what the doctor ordered. I spot some cute virtual babes, but I can't ask them out like this. My only possession is a skinny red tie and I don't even own a house. What has Agent 47's life come to? One minute he's a renowned international assassin and now he's about five minutes away from paying a virtual hooker for a hand job. But that's when I realize what my next move is. I need to build a new life for myself. I need to become the kingpin of GTA 5 online and the first move to that is buying myself a new home to live in. Our bank account currently sits at around 12 grand, which is basically just the starter money, so it's time to start making some paper. I steal another sports car and head towards the closest convenience store. Your boy is starting at the bottom and that means it's time to commit some petty crimes to get the ball rolling. I walk in and pretend I'm just there to buy a jumbo Toblerone, but then I'm like, psych mother give me all the cash in the till right now, Apu. He gives me the $1,000 cash that was in the till and I run outside and then look who it is. My mate Crosby in a getaway vehicle. God forbid he brings a sports car or something fast, but I suppose we are taking this big ass truck. Randomly, that speed racer guy is there too. So I shout, sorry for killing you earlier out the window and we speed off. It's only a two star wanted level. So it's pretty easy to get away, even if the getaway vehicle isn't ideal. We escape out into the hills of Los Santos and then I get a call from Agent 14. He says that I need to come back to the Hitman agency and help him with a mission. I say, don't worry, I'll be back later, but I'm trying to buy my new first house. He's super happy for me as it's a really exciting first step to long-term financial security, but we can't just keep robbing convenience stores for one grand each. We need to make some serious cash and fast. I then come up with a cunning plan. It's time to do some illegal street racing. I search for a race and manage to find one. I like street racing and I'm good at it too because I've watched the original Fast and the Furious like four times. I am rank one, which is obviously the lowest and the host is the highest rank at rank 241. God damn, it's like David versus Goliath, but Goliath has his stepmom's credit card. I am prompted to pick my race outfit, but then I notice that the car 
car looks kind of small, almost like a remote controlled car. And then all of a sudden I realized that, yep, we are officially racing RC cars around a golf course. Not exactly what I had imagined when I was searching for street races, but hey, if there's money to be made, your boy's got to hustle any way he can. We have a really good start to the race and I find myself in second place. These little cars have awful handling, but somehow we managed to pull out ahead. If we can win this race, we can potentially make bank. But unfortunately, I get thirsty mid-race and go to drink some water in real life. You know you've got to stay hydrated but it results in me losing control and crashing into the river. We managed to cross the finish line in second place which is still a pretty good effort and it nets us a cool 16 grand. To celebrate, Crosby invites me to his nightclub. Crosby is very wealthy in GTA Online but I refuse to take financial help from him. I want to build my own empire by myself. I head inside the club. This looks pretty sweet. I walk up to the front booth and I'm like, hey there, I know the owner. And she's like, hey there, I don't give a f that'll be five dollars please. Damn Crosby, I don't expect handouts but charging your homeless friends club entry fees, that seems a little bit savage. I walk down to meet Crosby who is wearing boxer shorts now for some reason. He shows me around his nightclub. This is the life I want and I will have one day. Look at Agent 47 dance, he looks like he took six pingers at pre-drinks and is now chewing his face off as he tears up on the D floor. What an absolute loose unit. We head upstairs to Crosby his private office. I sip some whiskey and then Crosby has an idea. He says that we should find a bank robbery that is in progress and then show up at the scene guns blazing and kill everyone and take the money for ourselves. It seems a little bit overly complicated but he obviously knows more about Los Santos than I do so I agree. But first I want to go and see the house I am saving up for for a little bit of inspiration. Crosby suggests we take one of his luxury sports cars but I have another plan in mind. I run out Side to find the perfect vehicle, an old family station wagon. See, driving cars like this keeps me grounded. It helps me stay humble and not forget where I came from. It might not be the fastest, but it serves the purpose of taking us to Crosby's private helicopter, which I fly over to my potential new property. Come on, staying humble and grounded for too long is for nerds. Plus, it's just temporary use of his helicopter, which is fine in my books. I fly over to the sleazy part of town and bring the helicopter down to land. Land. I definitely wouldn't describe this landing as the smoothest landing of all time, but at least I knocked down a couple of traffic lights which hopefully lowers the property value a bit and helps me save some cash. So here's our big prize, a really crappy apartment in a bad neighborhood. It's going to cost us 80,000 and we currently only have about 37,000 so this bank heist ploy better pay well. We head over to Crosby's truck. It turns out it's actually a bloody armored mobile intelligence center and we are apparently going to use it to monitor all of the different bank's security cameras. In other news, it's pouring rain and Crosby doesn't even put the roof on the sports car we are driving until I ask him to. Rich people, man, they don't have any appreciation for money. The interior is now going to be unnecessarily saturated and ruined, which is a real shame. We proceed to enter the back room of the truck. You can immediately tell it's a high-tech zone by the neon green color. Neon green is like the global sign that something is high tech. I might actually paint my penis neon green after I edit this video. Wait, does that even make sense? Terminator penis I guess? I don't know, but anyway, I access the truck's computers. As mentioned earlier, this allows me to access the security cameras for all the banks in Los Santos. It doesn't take me long at all to find a heist in progress, and the bank that's being hit is out in the country, so it looks like we're going on a bit of a road trip. I know I said I wanted to climb to the top by myself, and right now I am currently using Crosby's high-tech surveillance truck to intercept organized crime, but look, I'm helping do the legwork. Hypocritical Pelican Gaming coming at you boys. I've had John Denver's song Take Me Home stuck in my head for like three months, so I sang that the whole trip. Crosby wanted to kill himself. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Yeah, I can't, I can't sing for sh**.
We arrive at the bank sometime later and I'm only armed with a pistol. This might be a disadvantage to some, but Agent 47's weapon of choice is a pistol and he's a chronic fapper so his trigger finger is lightning fast. We briefly engage the cops outside the bank but then move in. I find a shotgun on the ground and then Crosby warns me there is a dirty dog around the corner. I enter the room and then blast him a couple of times with the shotty. We grab the money bag and now it's time to lose the cops. Rushing back to the truck, we engage more police who have arrived as reinforcements. One civilian just barges through with his car. He's not going to let a little shootout make him late for work, that's for sure. Against Crosby's wishes, I decide I'll drive the truck. Now this truck might not be the fastest vehicle in the West, but apparently it can withstand like 200 rocket launch blasts or something, making it almost indestructible. I decide to take the beast off road to get the cops off our tail. It works a treat and is a pretty genius move move right up until the moment I get the truck wedged between a telegraph pole and the landscape. As you can imagine, Crosby is less than impressed, but on the bright side, and for seemingly no reason, we lose our wanted level. I guess they just couldn't deal with my mean driving skills. We need to unlodge the truck, and so I steal this grandma's hatchback and prepare to ram it in the hopes of dislodging it. It actually works really well, and the truck begins to come loose, but then the grandma whose car I stole comes out and pulls me out of my car onto the road. She tries to stomp my head in, and so I pull out the shotgun which scares her off. I then proceed to shoot the grandma in the back. Now that's a sentence I never thought I'd say in a video. We hit the road again and make the long drive to the drop off point. Besides the truck getting stuck and the grandma incident, I'd say it was basically a flawless mission. My take from the heist is 33,000. This leaves us with a total of $73,504. So we're still about seven grand short of our first ever apartment. We decide the simplest way to make the cash is to rob a few more convenience stores. I'm going to montage the robberies to some John Denver. With the 80,000 in the bank, we head to the slums on Crosby's moped. I proceed to purchase our first ever property on GTA Online, the place where Agent 47 will start his plan to become the kingpin. We're about to go up, and then this chick rocks up in a pink car. I'm really glad this random stranger's here for this big moment. She seems like the kind of girl you'd actually wanna take home to meet your parents too. Anyway, we head upstairs and our new apartment is, well, well, it's not great, especially compared to Crosby's nightclub. It doesn't really have a lot of light coming through it. I guess it kind of reminds me of a drug den or like a place where people are taken after they are abducted and held until they are shipped out of the country and sold into slavery. Not quite the homely vibe I was hoping for, but hey, it's got a bong. We hit that and then head over to take a shower. This apartment is just the start of Agent 47's empire. Thanks for watching, you legends. I'll definitely keep doing the normal hitman missions too but let me know what you think of an agent 47 in los santos series a huge shout out to my patrons for being the most hydrated legends out there until next time and as always stay classy